Hi guys, Silver Eddie One here again. Hey, I wanted to do a quick, uh, simple acid test for silver. Um, I've heard a lot of people mention that they can find uh, copies or fakes by using a magnet. I haven't found that to be true. Most of the coins that I've checked that were fakes have no magnetic qualities to them. So the old magnet trick isn't quite what it used to be. Um, I have a testing solution here. This is a mixture of nitric acid and muriatic acid. Um, it's kind of dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. Um, if you're not sure about handling these kind of chemicals, have a professional do it for you. Uh, kids definitely don't try this at home. Uh, these are dangerous chemicals and if you do try something like this uh, always wear gloves and eye protection anyway this this is about the simplest test that I've found uh, the solution can be purchased online for about five to ten dollars a bottle it goes a long way um, and basically I I haven't had to sand the coin down or anything like that uh, if you're trying to test through silver plate, you might want to etch it a little bit before you apply the acid. It'll give a, a better reading. But with these coins, the fake ones, there's literally no silver in them at all. Not even a silver plate. So it shows up right away that it's fake. So let me just uh, go ahead and apply a drop of this solution to the fake Morgan dollar here. And as you can see, it gradually starts changing to almost a green, greenish or kind of a clear green color. If you can see that very well. Okay, it's definitely almost almost a turquoise. So let's try the real Morgan dollar here. Oh, and by the way, only do this with junk silver coins. This will destroy the value of any collectible coin. Um, it, it, only try this with coins that you know have no value and they're only considered scrap. Because it, it, if it has any value at all, this will absolutely uh, destroy that value. <laughs> Okay, and as you can see, this basically isn't changing color at all. So if you can show the two coins together, there's quite a bit of difference. This is will stay a reddish brown, and the other one is almost uh, turquoise. It's almost a green. So easy to tell the fake here. Very easy. Let's try, let's move over and try this on the Walking Liberty halves. Of course, we have the fake one here. And we have the real one here. This is the, the recent Chinese fake. And a, a lot of times with the fake coins, you'll notice that they are very worn. And they do that intentionally, so they can't be identified as fakes quite as easily. The more wear on a coin, the harder it is to identify its authenticity. But right away, you can see nice and brown, or reddish brown turquoise I mean green turquoise hopefully it's showing up in the video but uh, there's a huge difference between these two okay and let's try one last coin this is a 40 percent silver Kennedy I don't I don't know what what this is gonna look like because it's only 40 percent silver but let's just have a peek and see what the acid does on this one Of these two well you know it's let me show you the difference between those two dots it's not quite as as reddish brown as the 90% silver walker it's almost a, um, a uh, 